there, buenos dias and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived in this town for over 20 years now and I love to share news, information and interesting items about the resort to all you Benny lovers out there. So let's get started. Today I'm taking you for a fly on the wall look around the three star hotel Sol Pelicanos and Ocas, meaning pelicans and geese incidentally, which are situated on Cay Girona in the Rincon de Loix area. This family friendly complex is situated at the quieter end of this party road, which later on becomes the Strip, and also sits very close to the Mercaloix Indoor Market, the 24 hour fast food restaurant and takeaway Mariano's, and the popular sports and karaoke bars, the Silver Dollar and the Piccadilly. The hotel found fame when it was selected as one of the filming locations for the hugely popular ITV comedy sitcom Benidorm, in which it was renamed as the Hotel Solana. The series finished in 2018 after 10 years of making us Brits laugh and the hotel, filming locations and Mateo's bar itself in the new town are still a draw to fans of the programme to this day. Part of the Melia Hotels chain, the sister hotels were built in 1970 and then fully renovated in 2002. They have 794 rooms over their 14 floors which are located in two separate accommodation blocks and offer free Wi-Fi throughout. As you enter the larger hotel, the Pelicanos, through its glass revolving doors, you immediately find yourself in the large reception area. Check-in desks are to the right, which are especially busy on Saturdays, and the spacious foyer has plenty of attractive white wicker chairs and sofas to settle down on, as well as customer service desks along the back wall. In the corner you can find lifts to the accommodation floors, and by heading up the stairs you will find two more lifts to the right. Straight ahead you'll see the TUI and JET2 reps desks in the corner along with information boards and folders with men's and women's toilets to be found adjacent. To your left there is the on-site shop selling a selection of handy items such as suntan oil and beach bags as well as a variety of gifts and souvenirs and the dining room for the Pelicanos is also in this upper section being one of the two restaurants offered within the complex with one located in each block and guests being free to use whichever one they choose. Meals are served buffet style and bring you a wide variety of choices, from delicious Mediterranean specialities to international flavours, and all the food is beautifully presented with a show cooking area so you can watch the chefs at work, and microwaves on hand should you feel that your food isn't quite piping hot enough. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. Heading outside to your right you will find a large swimming pool and solarium area which overlooks Cay Girona. Steps and access ramps are available to get down to the sun deck area with plants and trees dotted about for a touch of colour and a natural feel. Here you will find plenty of beige sun lounges and straw parasols with the main pool in front of you just down the steps and a smaller circular children's pool also available just behind. If you want to find out about some of Benidorm's most popular hotels, then why not check out my great series of vlogs giving you an unbiased look inside and out. Just search YouTube, fly on the wall, followed by the name of the hotel you're looking for, and all the info will be at your fingertips, it's that simple. There is also a games room filled with arcade machines and air hockey tables to keep the younger ones amused when they tire of the pool. There is a chilled atmosphere in the large outdoor space of the front sunbathing area with a pool bar in the corner for drinks and snacks along with additional seating of tables and chairs for those who wish to take their refreshments in the shade. A large outdoor stage for entertainment is also located in this zone which is regularly used by the hotel's animation team who provide live music, themed shows and a mini disco throughout the evening as well as invited professional singers from around the resort. By walking across this area you can also find the entrance to the Ocus accommodation block where there is a small reception desk, a bar and lounge area with pool table and gaming machines, an airy lobby with wicker sofas and chairs as well as their on-site restaurant. As with the Pelicanos block you can also access the Ocus from the street above via steps or lift. Back outside again, the larger lagoon style swimming pool can be found towards the back of the hotel and has fun places to sit and relax in under Roman columns whilst jets bubble away around you and water fountains gush forth to keep you cool. There is also a smaller pool as you enter this area which is more suitable for children as it is more shallow and less busy and the gardens are surrounded by lush palm trees giving it a truly tropical feel. 
Again, there are ample sunbeds and parasols to go around for everyone, with showers dotted here and there to wash off under, and guests of both the hotels Pelicanos and Ocas can use any of the pool and garden areas within the grounds. Water aerobics and other water-based activities are regularly provided by the entertainment staff and there is a bar and snack restaurant overlooking the pools with a special all-inclusive snack area for those who have chosen this regime along with plenty of tables and chairs to dine at as you are not permitted to take food or drink to the sunbeds themselves. Walking around the extensive pool and gardens area, in fact one of the largest in Benidorm's main city centre, you'll find some tucked away chill out areas where guests can enjoy a bit of peace and quiet from the pumped out music or the shouts of other holiday makers joining in with the activities. Under a large straw conical roof you can find the swim up pool bar where Spanish barman Mateo from the TV series Benidorm served up cocktails whilst knocking out some cheesy chat up lines. And although sadly this doesn't seem to be used as a working bar at the moment, online comments suggest it opens in the high season of July and August. And although disappointing to some I'm sure, there were still plenty of people filming it or taking selfies with it on the day I visited as a fun piece of nostalgia from the show. There are marble tiled seats set in the water where some of the famous characters sat at the pool bar and ordered their pink pussies. And Mateo's bar, owned by the writer himself, Darren Lytton, is just a short five minute walk away, just off the strip between the Crown Bar and Insomnia Nightclub, showcasing a whole host of photos and memorabilia from the series. The hotels Pelicanos and Ocas offer a variety of board bases, including everything from the most simple bed and breakfast option to a full all-inclusive package. And their rooms come as singles, doubles and triples, with family rooms also available. Decorated in a modern minimal style with a white and chocolate colour scheme, they offer free Wi-Fi, air conditioning, a flat screen TV, refrigerator, a safety deposit box for a fee and come with a balcony with a pool or street view. The larger rooms, which are the superior and family rooms, do not come with a balcony as standard however and you will need to book this option when you make your reservation. For those holidaying as a family, there are two children's clubs for the kiddies based on their age group and these are held in a bright and colourful room with lots of soft play areas and a ball pool. Arts and crafts, team games, movie nights and other fun is planned for them daily. There is also an extensive children's playground area outside called Kathmandu Adventures with swings, climbing frames and slides and a mini disco is held in the evenings for the youngsters to enjoy. As well as the two pool bars and the dining room, you also have the in and out bar to grab a drink or bite to eat in which is located at below street level. This serves drinks and snacks inside as well as on their small outdoor terrace and you can also find an entertainment stage in this area along with a pool table and other gaming machines. The hotels can be booked as a package holiday through operators such as Jet2, TUI and First Choice or directly through the Melia website itself as well as the usual online booking sites such as On The Beach, Booking.com, Love Holidays and Sunshine.co.uk. If you wish to hire a mobility scooter whilst in town, then if you rent through Amigo 24, which the hotel can arrange for you, you are able to park and charge your scooter outside the Hotel Pelicanos. Private car parking is also available at a fee should you hire a car or indeed arrive in one. The hotels are currently ranked 104th out of 199 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK, with a guest satisfaction rating of 4 out of 5, putting them in the very good category based on over 10,700 reviews. Reviews seem to be fairly mixed on the whole, with long queues at the reception desks to check in being commented on frequently, along with the lack of civility of some of the staff, Although to be fair, there is still a lack of staffing in Spain in the hospitality industry right now, so maybe they are just overworked and tired, although of course there is never an excuse for downright rudeness if that was the case. With regards to the rooms, most said that they were spacious, modern and clean, if not a little worn in areas, with lots of English channels on the TV, although the balconies are a little on the small side. Food, as I always see in my hotel reviews, remains the main bone of contention, with some saying there was sufficient choice and quality in the restaurants, while others didn't like it at all. It was also noted that these areas could get overcrowded, and that the waiters were over-eager with checking on where you had got your drinks other than water from, in case you needed to pay for them. Many repeat visitors felt that the hotel had gone down on the whole, and would maybe not be back again, based on other deals available. 
On the plus side, however, it was mentioned that the hotel is in a great location with the nightlife, shops and beach all practically on your doorstep or within a couple of minutes walk and that the large pool area and sun terrace are fantastic as long as you don't bring your own food and drinks into the area that is. So, as with everything, I guess it's best to do your own research before booking based on what you consider important on your holiday, taking into account key factors such as price, location, facilities and the board basis you prefer, and then make your choice. I hope you enjoyed this extensive fly-on-the-wall look around the Hotel Sol Pelicanos and Ocas with me today and that it's given you a pretty good idea of what to expect if you choose to stay here. And if you have liked watching today, then please join me again in the future, as well as checking out some of my other videos full of information, news and detailed street and beachfront walks, as well as reviews on other local hotels, apartments, cafes and bars, and just about anything else I can think of. Also, feel free to drop me a line in the comments section if there is something or somewhere that you would particularly like me to include in the future, and I'll see what I can do. I'll see you out and about next time, and thanks so much for watching as always. Have a great week, bye for now, and adios. Cheers!